What's going on guys? Just picked up this X500 John Deere lawnmower. Um, not even sure what year it is yet, but basically uh, I'm just going to be working on it. I bought it to resell to flip, so I figured I'd make a video on what I'm going to do to it and everything. Um, if I was to guess, I'll, I'll check in a little bit, but I would say it's probably like a 2008. Um, it only has 360 some hours on it, which is really low for the year. Uh, and this is a pretty decent sized mower, so typically these have a lot more hours than that. But overall, it's in pretty good shape. Needs a new seat, which is really common. Uh, paint's a little faded, but that's typical. And the deck's a little scratched up, but I can fix that up pretty good. But yeah, I mean, overall, no cracks in any of the plastic or anything. Starts and runs super good. Uh, but it, it's mainly just the case of it's super dirty and needs cleaned up. Set this down real quick. But as you can see, it doesn't look like these people ever cleaned the engine bay of this thing. And the, the deck is just full of grass and dirt and stuff. But yeah, I'll get this cleaned up and uh, kind of show you guys the process of how I buy and resell lawn equipment for my side business. But yeah, I'll rinse this off with the hose and I'll bring it into the garage. All right guys, I'm back in the garage here. Uh, basically, I just rinsed it off with the hose. Uh, I rubbed it down a little bit with some soap and uh, microfiber, but it's still pretty filthy. So you can see the deck, it's just, all that dirt is super caked on there and it's like 35 degrees outside right now. So my hands were getting super cold. So I'm just gonna work on that another day. But basically, I'm just going to get this ready and good enough to uh, post online and uh, get it posted for sale so people can actually see it and view it and maybe I can get some people interested in it. Whenever someone actually comes to, to pick it up, I'll make sure to get it a lot cleaner and uh, ready for them so it's in like pristine condition. But uh, yeah, first off, uh, what I like to do, most time when people buy these, they always come with the dealer sticker on there and, you know, it's just... It's falling off, doesn't look great. So I'm gonna grab my heat gun and I'm gonna rip that off to begin with. I'm gonna heat it up and then that's gonna allow the adhesive to work with me a lot better. Cause this has probably been on there for 10 plus years. I'm not sure what year this mower is, but it's probably 10 to 15 years old. Let's see if that's good enough. So yeah, this is gonna leave some adhesive and residue on there. I'll just use some goo gone to get the rest of it off, but. All right, so I got that off. It's like, yep, yeah, there's some leftover dirt and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some Goo Gone. Let's see, there's some there. So that already looks way better instead of having that old peeling sticker. So let's see, next off, uh, I'll probably just swap out the seat. This is super common. These things, the seats are junk. But uh, yeah, so first we'll take this, slide it forward. So you got this sensor, this is your sensor for your, uh, making sure someone's actually on the mower. If you uh, get off the mower when, it, when the parking brake's not on, it's a safety switch where the mower will shut off. Uh, just obvious reasons, you know, if there's no one on the mower, you don't want to like, drive it off or hitting someone or something. So a lot of people bypass these, but basically it just has a little clip there. I'll pull that down. And then this probably has a bunch of dirt and grease stuck in it, so it might be a little difficult to get off. All right, so yeah, you see it's got a bunch of dirt and stuff from over the years. So there's that. And then it's got these little pins. So these you're gonna have to push in, and then this is gonna slide out, uh, probably counterclockwise, I believe. Let's see, grab some of my pliers, a hammer too. Let's get my mallet. So push those all in and then turns, boom. So now we got this pin that holds the seat on and there's this little like cotter pin thing. And these are kind of a pain to get off. And then just pull it towards you. Uh, you'll probably have to bet. So when it came out, it bent out 
So you'll probably have to kind of bend this back on and maybe hammer it a little bit, but we'll see. over torqued quite a bit. All right, Take the old one off, grab your new seat. All right, that snap back on. Put this back in. Clicks back on. Boom. All right, now that we got the new seat on, uh, we just need to make sure since we messed with the sensor back here that it's all good. I have it in correctly and everything because if you have it in wrong or it's not making a connection, the tractor is not going to start. So let's just hop right on. And that's all I needed to see. So if the sensor works. Uh, if I would have left the parking brake off, when I would have gotten up, the tractor would have shut off. So then that's what that sensor is there for. So now I'm just gonna uh, grab my detailing supplies and grab my buffer and some polish and wax and we'll polish all the faded uh, green paint on this real quick. Now I just got it all waxed up. The paint's looking a lot better. The green's a lot more vibrant than it was before. Um, so basically, now, I still need to clean up the deck, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. That's not even scratched. It's all this dirt that's super stuck on there, but it's cold outside, so I'm not gonna do that yet. But uh, I still need to kind of clean this up a little bit, and then I'm just gonna wipe down the gauges so I can get a good picture of the hour meter and everything. Spray that on there. Wipe the overspray off. So this is just gonna give it a nice brand new kind of sheen to it. Won't, won't be super shiny, but it won't be like super faded out or anything. It'll just help the pla plastic look like it's brand new. Get the steering wheel a little bit. And now just look how much better that looks. Looks like it's brand new pretty much. So then that way I could turn the hour meter on and then I can take a picture, 362 hours. So that's good. So now I'm just gonna spray this down too. Now this is not gonna be perfect. This is gonna be a super, super quick job just to get it posted online, see if we can get some buyers interested in it. But when a buyer does come out, uh, that's when I make sure to go ahead and uh, clean everything back off again, make it look as good as possible. So that way it looks as good as it possibly can for when they get here. All right, so now that looks way better compared to this. Get a few sprays. My pedals down. That looks way better. All right, so now we're gonna clean off the engine. The battery. Get this cleaned up. And that looks way better compared to when I first showed you guys. So let's see what year this was. I was guessing it was an 08. <laughs> I was actually correct. It looks like it was made, Dave Manufacturing. So yeah, 
It was in fact an 08, looks like it was made July 8th, or July of 2008, doesn't show the exact day it was made. But... And just like that, boom, look how much better that engine looks and everything. So we'll go ahead and shut the hood. And now I'm just gonna maybe touch that, the deck up a little bit, but I'm gonna take some pictures and I'll show you guys me posting online and how it looks. That. There we go. So now I'm gonna go inside and get this all posted. All right guys, so I just got it posted on Facebook. Um, that's where I mainly sell. I'll post on there and then my website for my business, but here's where I find the most people on there. My website's just mainly word of mouth. I'll hand people a business card and they'll look it up on there. But uh, yeah, mainly it's just on Facebook. That's where most people are. But here's the pictures and how it turned out. Looks way better. If you go back in the beginning of the video, you know what it looked like before. It looked god awful. And now the paint looks good. The deck looks good. It's got a new seat on it. And uh, it's really shining and looking like a nice mower now compared to before. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please let me know. I buy and sell these all the time. And I could definitely make these quite frequently. Um, I mean, I typically pick up an, at least a new one, one or two every week during the summer hours and everything so pretty soon here i'm gonna be busy working on these but this one i bought it for right around two grand um i spent 130 on a seat and then this should sell for it uh i'm asking 3300 but i would take three so worst case scenario i'll make like 800 bucks and then just minus a little bit of tax but um yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good profit. It was only five, about seven minutes from my house. So picked up my trailer, went and got it, brought it back to the house, cleaned it up for about an hour, hour and a half, and then uh, posted it all in all. Probably took two hours of my time. And uh, it'll be a good 800 to to 1000 bucks profit all sudden done. So thank you guys for watching. I'll uh, end this video here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.